My son got an RC forklift from VAT19.com for Christmas. Since it is RC, we thought we would do a little review of it. My cost was $39.99 plus shipping. The forklift, made by New Ray Toys, is 1 14th scale. It moves forwards and backwards using a trigger style control. It steers while going forwards and backwards using a steering wheel control. The lift goes up and down via a bi-directional slide switch on the side. The controls can be operated concurrently. The forks can be only spread apart manually. I'll throw some other specs on the screen about it. It runs on 27 megahertz frequency. The transmitter takes a 9 volt battery and the forklift takes 3 AA batteries. Both you have to unscrew a little screw to get to. The batteries are not included. Even though it's marked, I thought it was confusing to be able to tell the difference between the positive and negative sides for the 9 volt battery and the transmitter. I had to test it both ways before finding proper orientation. In addition to the forklift and remote control transmitter, the set includes one shelf, five pallets, four drums, two hinged crates, one cardboard box, and one cargo load. It has a 90 day warranty against manufacturing defects and a 30 day money back guarantee. It doesn't really have an operating manual per se, but just some instructions that are on the back of the box. The unit is made in China. Here are some of my review thoughts. I don't expect it to last very long. The parts feel pretty cheap. Be careful not to strain the lift motor with too much weight and don't extend the lift beyond its reach. It's pulled up and down by a string and pulley. It got tangled for me once. I don't have a lot of faith in it. All the cargo items except for the cardboard box are made of plastic. They are very slippery and tend to slide off the pallets very easily. I will probably end up using a little hot glue to attach them semi-permanently to the pallets. It is able to dry fine on hard floors and firm carpet, not as well on soft carpet. It gets easily stuck on transitions. Battery life with two new Duracell batteries was only about 30 to 45 minutes until the steering started acting up and wasn't working very well. And then I checked the batteries and they were only reading about 1.2 volts per cell instead of 1.5. I'm not sure what the actual operating range is on this unit, but I did find that if you got further than 10-15 feet away, it would start to lose signal. All that said, my son still had fun with it, even though it has some faults. He doesn't mind when something falls off or he, he has to get a little bit close when operating it. 